Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to uh, Stormwatch. So we've got this warm plume of air that's pushing up out of um, Spain and France over the coming few days. It's going to be lifting the temperatures way above average during the weekend and into the start of next week as well. Uh, and there will be risk of some uh, thunderstorms with this. I don't think it will be widespread severe storms in the south and southeast, at least not till the start of next week. It's going to be more probably for the north and west. Uh, over weekend and then maybe transferring more towards the south and the east as we get through into start of next week but i'll show you the detail in a second remember monday is a very long way off in this sort of uh, scenario i will just have a quick run through the gfs charts and see where the model is trending with this uh over weekend and into the start of next week so i'll show the detail in a second before you get on with that just to say about the ads there's links to articles on all the pages have a browse widgets and click through the links if there's any articles that you're interested in thanks very much for doing that this video ads the most page so over the content you want to close back up again helps pay gas so this is the gfs chart for uh friday for tomorrow first of all just setting the scene really for what's happening we've got this area of low pressure down south very slack feature but it's coming out of um spain through the bay of biscay and it's bringing up quite warm air we've got high pressure over scandinavia it's a messy pattern but there's high pressure over scandinavia there's low pressure out to the west and the south and the flows generally uh, from a southerly type direction the upper air temperatures show that warmth pushing northwards out of france during the course of france mainly dry on Friday, there might be an isolated shower down in the southwest. It's going to be a dry, warm day, essentially, uh, for Friday. Now, we go through into Saturday, and we've got low pressure out to the west of the country. Again, high pressures over Scandinavia, and we're bringing up these southerly winds. That's bringing even warmer air up across the country. So, the upper air temperatures are lifting up, going above 10 Celsius at 850 HPA for parts of the south and the southeast. That's really very warm air uh, for early in May. Now, that low pressure is going to be bringing some convective potential with it. So, if you have a look at the Cape and lifting uh, index charts, we've got some green colours showing up there across the central parts of England and Wales at midday on Saturday. That generally pushes more towards the north as we get from Saturday evening. So going up towards North Wales and uh, parts of northern England as well. This is the precipitation chart for uh, Saturday. So uh, this area of heavy rain is very heavy rain out to the far west. I think that's sort of persistent thundery rain trundling north through Ireland during the course of Saturday. It's going to be a very wet day for parts of uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, for the rest of the UK, this does suggest thundery showers and most likely through, say, the West Midlands, Wales and Northern England. Notice much of the south and southeast and much of Scott North East England generally mainly dry. It seems to be in this northwestern corner that the GFS wants those thundery showers possibly thunderstorms on Saturday afternoon. Very warm afternoon. Temperatures being forecast to be at 23, but they could be higher than that. So, uh, forecast to be at 21, they could be higher than that. Say so around 23 or even 24 degrees. Sunday will be even warmer. Again, the flow is basically the same. It's high pressure over Scandinavia. It's low pressure around the Algarve. And the flow is from the south and the southeast. Upper air temperatures again looking very warm uh, for the time of the year. Cape and lifting index shows that we've got to be green and yellow colours there on Sunday. Again, through the Midlands, Wales and Northern England, not much for East Anglia, Southern and Southeastern England. And uh, really quite decent convective potential there through parts of the Midlands into Northern England at 6 o'clock in the evening on Sunday. That's quite a way off in this pattern. So Sunday starts mainly dry, but the forecast charts do develop these showers. And again, they mainly look in the north and west, don't they? So it's southwest of Scotland, down into north uh, west England, through into Wales, possibly through into parts of the West Midlands as well. Notice again, for much of the south east Anglia, south east England, southern coastal counties, it's mostly dry, will be very warm, but it is a mostly dry day with the showers and storms seemingly congregating in that northwestern part of the uh, country. Temperatures being forecast to be at 22, so you could increase that, say, to 25. 25 is 77 Fahrenheit. And as far as I'm going to go with this, we're going to say in this pattern through uh, the first part of next week, anyway, as far as I'm going to go, is Monday. And uh, again, it's still broadly the same pattern. It's high pressure to the north and the northeast up here, but low pressure is down to the south and southwest. And we're still throwing up these southerly, southeasterly winds. Upper air temperatures still looking very warm, certainly warmer than you would expect 
at this time of the year. Cape and lifted shows the convective potential is through Wales and the Midlands on Monday and possibly coming more in towards the south and southeast as well. So if you have a look at the precipitation uh, chart, we see that uh, many in the morning starts off mostly dry, still some rogue storms back across Wales and a few showers through the channel. But um, as, we go through, as we go through into Monday afternoon, this is, this is 6 o'clock in the evening on Monday, you see that the showers do break out there through Wales, down into the Midlands, and this time seemingly affecting more southern counties, and even into the southeast as well. And that continues into the night on Monday nights. It's midnight Tuesday. And you see the south is at risk of some thunder showers and thunderstorms then. So if you live in the south and the southeast and you like thunder, you may have to wait until the start of next week when it seems that the threat uh, of storms grows. For the weekend, I think it's looking mainly for northern England, Wales, possibly southwest of Scotland, possibly the north and west Midlands, so sort of the northwest of the country uh, that's at risk of some heavy showers and thunderstorms on both Saturday and particularly on Sunday. The south and southeast probably mostly dry through the weekend, and then the chance of storms perhaps increasing in the southeast to the start of next week. But that is a long way off in this pattern, so obviously just take that uh, with a pinch of salt, really, and we'll keep updating this over the next few days. But for the weekend, the storm risk seems to be in the north and west rather than the south. And the south, it can be a very warm weekend, so if you're living in the southeast, um, well, get the barbecues out. It's going to be a barbecue weekend, mainly dry, very warm, if not hot, really, for the time of year. And the storms in the north and west, the threat of storms may be grown into the south and southeast by the start of next week. I'll keep you updated. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.